Hello there. As promised, here I am with the first Friday session of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 post-game fun time splendid greatness. That new game plus button is enticing, but there's no way I'm going to play the entire game over again. I have to do all the quests over again, even if I do unlock a third accessory slot, which sounds fantastic. So what the first thing we're going to do is is get all of the blades we already have up to max level. So I'm going to start with Vex's blades, Rock and Perun. Then we're going to go to Cosmos. Then we're going to go to all the poppies. And then we'll do Bridget and Ajayon. And then Pandora and everything else later. So first thing Rock needs is to speak to the people after getting the Merc group rank to 5. The Merc group rank is 5. I just need to go speak to the people and level it up. So, let's go to Uriah, go off on village, and level up our base. There's going to be a lot of editing. While I, you know, if it's go to this place and do this thing, then I'll walk and not show you it. Unless it doesn't take long. If it doesn't take long, then I just show you it. Hello. Hello, friend. The golf at Mercenary's reputation is building up nicely. And thanks to that, we've bagged ourselves a big job. Let's see the details. If you want the details, you best talk to the client directly. Really, truly? I'm hoping you guys will be able to take care of this one. The client requested you specifically. The client we're talking about is, well, I shouldn't really talk about it here, but let's say they're a big shot. If you do a good job with this one, I think a little mercenary band will officially hit the big time. I'll do what I can. So give it your best shot, yeah? The client's waiting for you in a place called the Aqua Gardens in the region of Fonsamima Waters. You need to go there between midnight and five o'clock in the morning. Got that? Roger. Marvellous mercenaries. Oh, okay, I'm there. Between midnight and five o'clock. In the Aqua Gardens. And we're you. Let us go. Hello. I've been expecting you. Something wrong. I dare say there's no need for introductions here, but as a matter of formality, my name is Akura, Queen Regnant of the Kingdom of Araya. I think I don't know if that's a Regent or Regnor. I don't know. Perhaps you're surprised to see me. As a ruler of the nation, it is not prudent to make my movements widely known. You understand. My apologies. No problems. Thank you. I have heard much of your exploits with the Garfont mercenaries. I asked for you because of your proven skills and your unique position, which allows you to move freely. If that makes sense, in Araya there are six great noble lines said to descend directly from the nation's founders. My own family, the House of Solosia, is counted among the six. Each of the six lines is a treasure called a jeweled signet, a precious ring passed down for generations. When the six jeweled signets are brought together, they form a single seal, the national symbol of Araya. But recently we received word that one of the six jeweled signets has been stolen. Its whereabouts unknown. Huh? What we do know is the name of the man who stole it, a Gormati mercenary known as Gavit. Gavith? I would like you to recover the jeweled signet from this man. Toro will do best effort, but can't make promise. You will be willing to do this. I am most grateful. In the present political climate, it would be unwise to make this incident public by mounting an official investigation. Who knows what unrest might ensue if the people knew a symbol of our very sovereignty had gone missing. Do I get it? I wish you the best of luck in this endeavour. Okay. So it's going to say complete the... Yeah, we're going to complete the Merc quest. Gormati Fugitive. Gavith, the Gormati Merc who stole the jewel signet, has fled into Gormot. We need info on his location found quickly and discreetly. I'll just change what... um. Ursula's doing for now. In the meantime, we also need to get Perun's uh, quest up. So let's go to Curin's in Etheria and view the heart to heart Indomitable Will. Okay. So I've got to do this first. Sometimes it makes you do this. It says go to Alpis afterwards, but I've got to do this first. Because me doing this might actually unlock the quest. We got back. Some journeys make Great tired. Where to, Master Pawn? Okay, let's have a look at this. This is all done. We're just trying to get fans and do different things. I've improved upon my. Now we need to go to Araya, and you're going to set this mission off straight away. Three animals. Oh, phone call. Bit back. Okay, I'm back. Hello there, everyone. Um, three animals, one info collector. I can do that. 
Okay, understood. I'm leaping. Leaping might be a bit harder. But if there's an animal with leaping, I'll use them. Okie dokie. No such joy. Okay, understood. Then info collector. All only regular lads for that one. What's the plan then that? another animal. Any and then one opinion? fortitude. Vess has fortitude. Mercenary. You'll do. Sort of bad rep, don't they? It's been a while since I sent the tingling troop out anywhere. Off we go. Right. So it's going to take 30 minutes. Not too bad. Let's rest at Aunt Quinn's house. Do a short rest for 1G. No one can level up because there's nothing to level up. Sorry to bother you, everyone, but there's somewhere I'd like to visit. What's all this about, then? I was hoping to take a look at the steel of or steel, the steel of judgment in Spirit Crucible Alpis. Would you take me there? I mean, sure, I guess, but why? But are you sure that place is pretty tough on blades? I'm always up for a challenge. Could you have a restful sleep? <laughs> mm, nice cat nap. Also, there are more quests to take. Hey, listen up! I've seen something. So I want more info. I saw some shadowy folk gathered in the middle of the night in the spot just outside Fonset. Think at, at least I think there are people. Could have been animals too. A bit bigger than an up on, I reckon. Is that right? Can't I'd bear to think that quite a bit like Fonset might be attacked. That'd be beyond the pale. Till we find out what's going on, like some more guards to help protect the village. We can help you out if you've a mind to let us handle it. You'll do it. Oh, that's a relief. Take care while you're on duty. I will ah. Do do boo do boo boo do boo 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 boo. Hey, you heard about Kizor on Emmy Island? Apparently, they've got a bit of a drink worm problem there. Huh? You never heard of it? Listen up, drink worms are those nasty shell beasties that feed on titans. Thought everybody knew that. A few hundred years back, they filled an island with holes and it sank to the cloud sea. They need clearing out sharpish, but doubt there's anybody in the theory who's capable. Well, someone's got to take care of this. We'll see what we can organise. Well, you'll do it. Yeah. Great, this mission's a tough one, so don't take any chances, okay? No problem. So, where are we going? I need to go to Alpis. But where in Alpis? Who knows? Let, let me just check the thing again. It probably says. No, it just says view the heart to heart. So if I go to Alpis itself, it will probably appear on the map and then I can just walk to it. This is the Steel of Judgment, so this is probably it. Meh, meh. Hello. Long journey. There we go. Oh, what a spectacular view. I can't help but wonder how such a structure was even built. <clears throat> This place is pretty tough on blades, isn't it? No, not at all. This is nothing I can't bear. Seriously though, Karun, are you okay? I said, I'm fine. Why did you want to come to a place like this anyway? Well, why do you think? Uh, you wanted to meet the hero Adam? You wanted to meet the hero Adam? That's right. Well, to be more precise, I wanted to learn more about him. Pyra and Mithra and Bridget, not to mention Jin and Malos, they all have links to Adam. So I thought by learning about the past, I could understand the present. Perhaps the deeper reason behind the conflict we find ourselves in lies in the depths of history. If I could learn of that reason, it would help me discern my true foe and strike them down without hesitation. You're too serious, Karun. There's no need to take it that far. Oh, I only do what I feel I must. To be my driver's sword and shield is the calling of any blade. So I want to have as much clarity in my purpose as possible. Now, shall we explore these caverns a little more? <clears throat> Please, don't worry about me. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. I can't help but admire Prune's determination. But even so... 
We should probably call it a day for now. Indomitable will. Complete. And then to finish Wisdom pruning off, is my nourishment. all I've got to do is go to the Way of the Practitioner at the Cliffs of Martha, which I've been to many a time. But couldn't do it because I... various reasons. Phew. That was a slog. Let us go. Here we go. So, so the bigger hundred lord there, which I haven't fought, which I will do. I will show all the super bosses being killed on camera yes, at I'm some point. But this is what I want to do oh, first. That's incredible. I want to finish all the blades I've got now, so that I don't have to do it later. So that when I get new blades, I can focus purely on finishing all of them one by one. It may seem a little bit silly. Together at last. I think Azami's already <laughs> done. No, she's not. Okay, so we have one more thing to do with her. At the airborne throne, Tantal, through the heart to heart, I love too deep. Will do. Where's the airborne throne? There. Okay. So usually I'd be cutting this stuff out, but because I already just found it, it's fine. It's when I don't know what to go and do. Long journeys make What's up, Azami? Didn't you want to see the view from here? Never mind. I'm done. Done? You mean you've seen enough? It's no fun now. Your little fan club's ruined the mood already. Can we make this a private date and ditch the others? What? A date? <laughs> What's wrong with that? I want to get to know you. Intimately. Just the two of us, dining on fine food, and gazing out at the sky above, and talking for hours. Hold on, why just the two of you? <laughs> Something wrong? We're driver and blade. It's only natural that we'd be alone together. It's not natural. We're all part of the team too. We should all stick together. Thanks, but no thanks, doll. I want to talk to my driver in private. Hey, driver cheeks. What do you think about all this? Uh, I want us all to be together. I want us all to be together. Oh, so that's how it is. Too bad for you, Azami. Oh, don't worry. I'm only just getting warmed up. So, my cutie pie, tell me. What do you like to eat? What I like to eat? If I had to pick, probably pan-fried tartare. And also braised sea shark or cloud sea shark. <laughs> oh, just you wait and see. What are you planning? Why, I'm going to make breakfast every morning. Right now, my precious driver may prefer to hang out with friends. But soon, it'll be all too clear that I'm more devoted than any of you. Believe me, once you get a taste of the real Azami, she's all you can think about, day and night. A little bit weird. I get it. You're a temptress through and through, huh? <laughs> I've been called worse. Just don't try and pull anything funny. I'll be the first to know about it. Oh, we'll see. Look forward to it, my driver cutie. Just be careful. You never know what her type might do. I love too deep. You know, it's kind of cute for a little bit to have someone dote over you, but then, you know, it goes beyond cute and into like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Warning. Quiet. Our love has finally bloomed. Oh, that's incredible. Warning. Fucking mentalist alert. Whoop, 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 whoop. Never stick your wiener in crazy. That is the rule. Believe it. Okay. Now. You just leave it to me. I'll use my. I mean, you're a lot further piece. away from being full, so we need to get you the Tome of Martha number three and complete the appropriate Merc mission. I know exactly where the Tome of Martha three is because all the other ones have been in Argentum, which means that this one's probably also in Argentum. 
if I had to guess. Let's see. I go to the flight deck because I can jump up, I can jump down. Long journeys make Dora tired. It all makes sense to me anyway. Oh, hello. There's a uh, trophy woman. Hi. Ah, you must be Adenine. That's right, are you here to deliver the Tome of Martha I ordered? No, actually, I was the Tome's previous owner. Oh, really? What, you came to bring it to me personally? I'm so sorry. Seems the Tome had been lost in transit from Wardane. What? Well, not so much lost as the entire vessel carrying the delivery may have been shipwrecked. That's awful. Upon receiving your letter, I entrusted the Tome to a courier so that it might reach our gentlemen as quickly as possible. But the courier ship got attacked by monsters and sank or something. Precisely. You sounded so, much, so very enthusiastic in your letter, so I thought I had to apologise personally for this regrettable loss. Hey, it's not your fault. It's the monsters of the courier who are to blame. You are more gracious than I deserve. But will this not present a terrible obstacle to your research? Don't worry, I happen to be acquainted with a very accomplished salvager. Do you know whereabouts it was the ship sank? I heard it was around Umon's shipyard in Gormot. Alright then, if we know the location, that ought to be enough. Thanks for letting us know, Tevisa. Oh, it's the least I could do. I'm just glad I was able to make up for your loss, if any little. Room on the shipyard. Alright. I can go there and dig it up. No big deal. Easy peasy. Journeys make Dora tired. They've got plenty of cylinders. Unless I sold them, or maybe I need to go buy some more. Yeah, okay. So I to get all the uh relationships with this the towns up, I went and bought ninety nine of every cylinder and then sold them back to the other city for the same price and it builds their relationship up. Don't ask me how it works. We're here. Let's get going. Or how that makes any sense at all. But, you know. It did. Right, let's buy some of your finest golden cylinders, some of your finest silver cylinders, and some of your finest normal cylinders. Please, thank you. I can make all that money back. It won't even be that difficult. Now all these uh, locations are opened up with... If you get stuff from certain places, but stuff from other places as well, you get lots of money. Especially the more ordained one, which is the easiest one to get. You can get like 160,000 at a time, which is silly. Stupid good money. Rex, check this out. Check it out. Shouldn't be too long. I'm fucking massive. Uh oh. It was way Onwards. too slow for my liking. I panicked. Beauty, you are. Ooh. Hello. This is the good shit. You're all mine. Tome of Martha number You're three. There we go. I got it. Okay, bring it on. Mr. Crabble, fuck off. Again, I did edit that out too, but everything seems to be going at Millhouse right now. Getting first top, first tries on everything. Now, we are a little bit stuck with uh, Ad 9 for now because for 17 minutes I can't go any further. In which case, let's change to another blade from Rock and see what we can do with them. So, let's find. Let's I guess our Electra's fine. We need to use Electra's favourite pouch items from the instruments category. I need to speak to Townsfolk in each region and take the Lord of Thunder training. And then increase trust, increase trust, increase trust. Right, so. Use an instrument. That should be easy. Literally as easy as pressing a button. Hey, I love this! It's also, oh, wow. The noise it makes is perfect! It's also one of her favourite instruments. So that works. I feel a power surge! Okay. Then speak to Dance in each region and take the Lord of Thunder training. I don't know what that means. And because I don't want to go look it up, I'm just going to move to a different blade again. You know how it is. Call on me anytime. Corsette, you're getting quite close to being finished, actually. 
So what I need to do is speak to Lenka and Galad Residential Zone Gormot. Okay. I can do that. I think this is Residential Zone, Galad Residential Zone here. Yeah. Gotta go speak to Lenka. I'll find out where you are, Lenka. And I'll speak to you. Also, it's not anything personal, but Electra does freak me out a little bit. Just, just a tad. It's nothing too bad. It's just worth noting. Hey, Lenka, how are you? I wonder what's happened there. We should try and find out. Hey there, little one. What's the matter? My mum and dad went out and they've been gone a long time and now I'm worried and, and, and... I got you, little lady. We'll go and look for them, okay? No, you don't get it. I'm just really, really hungry now. When I'm hungry, I just get so sad. Uh, oh, I see. Well, shall we see what you've got in the lard? I'm sure we could whip up you a quick snack, snack if we tried. Would you really? Sure. Shouldn't be too much trouble right near. No objections here. Okay, come on inside then. Hyra, you're... You're... You're my hero. He didn't even know that little girl. And you still wouldn't cook to a feast. Oh, there's nothing really. We couldn't have left her crying there. That's our Pyra, always a champion of the people. She sure is, and she shines brighter than any sparkler. Not the comparison I'd have gone with myself, but okay. I'll do whatever it takes so I can be just like my hero someday. Oh, that's nice. Let me know what I can do to help. If you check Crossette's affinity chart, you'll be able to use a cooking skill at Tora's house. Ardent cooking. Pyra will have to notice me now. Speak to Rami and Admar. The storage zone, more ordain. No, right? It's easy enough. So far, everything's real easy. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Still don't know where this fucking um. Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. Level six pick is. Apparently, there's a chest to be lock picked. And it's level 6, but who knows where it is, because I sure don't. Bum, ba, bum. This is the storage zone, so it'll be around here somewhere. But it could be upstairs too. There's nothing to say, he has to be around here. I'm just looking for a trophy, mainly. There it is. Rami, what, mate? Oh dear, that child seems troubled. We should see what the matter is. Hey there, little one, what's the matter? My mum and dad went out somewhere and they've been gone a long time. And now you're hungry and upset? How did you know? Oh, I know, I'm just kind of like that. If you got some ingredients at home, we could try making something, how about it? Really? Of course. Just you watch Pyro making him a meal he won't soon forget. Uh, uh, okay, give it your best, Cosette. It's gonna be awful. It burns! A most unfortunate outcome, Cosette. Looks like I'm not quite on Pyro's level just yet. I might put too much fire into the dish and it got a bit explosive. I personally thought it was quite alright. A child's taste buds are more sensitive, though. You'd have to take that into account. I guess I should have. Well, no matter, next time it'll be a success, I know it. I believe in you, Crossette. Thanks, that means so much. I'll make you proud, Pyra. Your cooking repertoire's increased. Guess how many times I'm going to cook, though, unless I have to. That's right, it's zero. Got him. Right. Have to now. Let's rest the spell. Speak to Nashian in Fonset Village's residential area, Letharia. Requires Mithra. No problem. I've got everything going on. Start at the house and move out from there. Nashian. I don't remember who that is. Ba, 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 ba. It could be a kid that's just placed there. Meh. Long journeys oh. make Tora tired. Where to, Master Pawn? There's Malil. Huh. 
There he is. You out, right, mate. Oh, hey, it's Nassian. He looks so sad, we should try and help if we can. Hey, guy, what's the matter? Mum and Dad have been out for a long time now, and so... And now you're hungry and upset. How did you know? I oh, you know, I'm just kind like that. If you've got some ingredients at home, we could try and make you something. How about it? Really? Of course. Corsette, think twice. You don't want to scar another kid for life now, do you? That's not going to happen. I've been practicing each and every day since that last time. Uh... Oh, is that right? You don't believe in me at all, do you? Well, in that case, why don't you make him some food, hmm? Seeing how you're so clever. Not a chance. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen you cook, Mitha. Shut up, Vex. I'll have you know that part of me has been sealed away due to numerous complex circumstances. Well, my hero, Pyro, is strong and kind as the first time she used to around the house. I have so much respect for her. And then there's you, Mitha. Do I look like I care about your respect, Corsette? But now you're just being rude. And you're a simpleton, and boring to boot. And you're, you're, you're a, a jerk face. I'm just straight into the point, like a rocket, or a flare, or... Wow, they're really getting into it. I'd hate to get between them, Rex. How, can you help me make a sandwich? Sorry, I had to see that. We'll get some proper food together next time, yeah? Awesome. I'll just make you a sandwich, mate. Don't worry. It's easy. A bit of butter, a bit of ham. Just smack it together. Off you go. It's not going to win any awards, but... It's classic. Classic meal. Hi, Robo. Have to notice me now. Speak to Alvira in Theoswar's residential area. Tantal requires Zika Pyra. Go to Tantal. Go to the residential area. There. So it's best if I go from Anastasia and just walk across the way. We'll make it work. Ooh, let's rest and then as soon as we're done let's with that, going. we can go to the next bit. Up, up, up. I think uh, I will just record for three hours. It's going to make, make some sounding issues uh, apparent, but I'll just do some nice cutting and it should be fine. I thought about doing three hour long sessions, like click the record button, click stop, click record, click stop, click record. Then i got to put them all together and it might still desync. Oh, that child looks distraught. Say no more power, I don't know what to do. Hey there, everything okay? My parents have gone out and they've been away for a very long time. And now you're hungry and upset? No, that's not it at all. What? Oh, plot twist. So what's wrong then? A bully. A bully hid my house keys. And I don't know where they've gone. My mum and dad aren't here and I can't get into my house. Unacceptable. That's not a prank. That's abuse. I'll go and teach that bully about the boundaries of humour. Cassette, wait. Too late. She's in the wind now. Finally, I thought she'd never turn up. Corsair, is everything okay? <laughs> Sorry, it took longer than I thought, but I got the bully to spill the beans and I got the keys back. Gosh, thank you, miss. Thank you oh so much. You're very welcome. When something runs you the wrong way, you really get fired up, don't you? <laughs> I was wrong about you, Corsair. You've got far more guts than I gave you credit for. I'll oh, stop it. You'll make me blush. Anyway, I just did what my hero would have done. One day, Pyro will be just like you. My hero. How many love sources have I got left? I made some, I thought. I've got two. Having so I need to make some more. Having this makes me real happy. Having this makes me real happy. Because this is how you just essentially cheat the system. Alright, go great star, go shooting star, go lucky star. That's combat. Finish an enemy. Engage in combat alongside Pyro or Mithra. Boost fusion combo effect by 60%. Use specials to participate in a chain attack. Okay. Go to Fonset Village in the Fairy and complete the quest Bright Spark. And use a Sunshine Pie. Did I make Sunshine Pies? I feel like I did. I saw it. Yeah, I've got plenty. Okay, I can use two right now. Oh my gosh. Pyra, what is this? What even is this? There we go. Oh, that's that one done. The benefit of cooking lots of different meals for those 50 meals There's I had to no cook. Right. 
Complete the quest bite spark in Letharia. Will do. Let's move over there. I got good at navigating all the menus. I played a lot of the game off camera. Ah. Right. That was a slog. Let us go. Does it say where I need to go in Letharia? I think it's just Fonset Village. Yeah. So there's going to be a quest somewhere. There's a blue dot. Ski ba be ba ru ba be be bo. Hey, that's Latina. I wonder what's wrong. We should go talk to her. Has something happened? It's the children. The three of them went out to play at the edge of the village, but haven't come back yet. Is that Nasi and Aaron and Arena you're talking about? That's right, Vex. Are those the kids we spoke to before? Yeah, that's right. That's a little worrying, huh? We have to find them, quick. Come on, everyone, let's get a move on. Hey, Rex, hey, hold up a minute. What's up? I, um, it's my husband, too. He went to look for the kids and never came back, either. Raymond, too? This is very bad news. We really do have to find them, quick. Miss Latina, any idea where Raymond and Little Pond go? The kids said they were going to play in the direction of Yeshiva Harvest. He might have a look there. Got it, it's just the next island over. No time to race then, Rex. Agreed. Bright spark. I know exactly where I'm going, so... Huh. Is this just another quest I can take? Yeah, I guess it is. Alright. Well, that's alright. Well, this is a bit of a pickle. Something bothering, friend. Well, there's a bit of a problem with the village's children, you see. Let's hear the details. It's just that, well, as I'm sure you know, the Praetorium of Indor was destroyed in that great conflict, and thanks to that, our mark can't go to the Indline Academy anymore. We don't have anywhere to send the children for a good education. Talk about a tricky situation. So I was thinking, maybe we could fix up this building that nobody's using right now. Round up some good teachers from all around Alvest. Start a brand new school right here in Fonset. Do I want to help out? Should be easy for Tor and friends. Oh well, I'm happy to hear it. First thing we've got to do is get the school building in workable shape. It's falling apart here in the years of years of disuse, you see. Yep. You find a carpenter out back named Mason. He's working out what needs to be done. Can you lend him a hand? Got it. Let's make this village a place where children can be proud to grow up. The village doesn't have a school? Alright. Alright, Mason. Hi there. Hey up, pal. I'm racking my brains a bit here. The building's not in the worst of shape, all things considered. But if there's going to be kids using it day in, day out, it could probably do with being a bit more sturdy. I don't know where we'd get our hands on the materials for that, though. Well, help you out. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Really, you guys are the best. Can I ask you to gather a few things right away, then? You can give them to the kids over there. Mark needs some wood, Kazuna needs decorations, and Kirk needs some ore. They all offered to lend me hand. They said they wanted to help build their own new school. Isn't that grand? When I see passion like that, it makes you just want to do the best job I can do. Right, Mark. Just bring me some wood. I'll take whatever you've got. You need a hundred woods. You don't need a hundred woods. You need twenty woods. When I have more than one or something, I'm just going to go to the nearest, like, five. There you go. No, it should be all the wood I need. Thanks. Happy to help. Kazuna. I'm doing the decorating. I need fab bits, music instruments, artworks, and books, that kind of stuff. Do you have anything I can use to decorate? Salvaging made easy. I'll be back. I'm going to keep adding decorations. The whole school looks beautiful. Just keep bringing me stuff, okay? Hang on. some stuff over here. Just want to see if I can use any of the stuff we've got right here. No, I don't think so. Let's find the book Salvaging Made Easy. And if I notice anything in the corner of my eye that looks like it was 
something she wanted to get that too. Obviously, I'm going to buy that. Okay. The fairy in life. That's not really what I'm looking for. Savage and made easy. There you go. That's what I want. Tingling true. Talk very much. Right, let's see great how you got work. on. You did a great We've got Monty Fugitive. Gareth the Merc's info. We got it. Let's go track him down. You fucking slay. Looks like I got str Getting stronger but What? Okay. This power. We're getting there with Woo! everyone. I don't need, I don't really mind about getting the common blades filled up to max. But I would like to get all the rare blades and fill them up to max. So, where was the quest? Was it Argentum? Yeah, turn me on to a level three. That makes sense. I will strive to do the utmost. I need economy. My role. Ancient wisdom. I'll lend you my strength. The fire mastery. Let you down. Let's do economy. I vow to carry out my sworn. Duty. Okay, and then. After that, I guess we can take Corvin, because he hasn't got anything else to do. Right. That's going to take nine minutes. So now I've bought enough things. Let's go back. Uh, Letharia, Fonset Island, Fonset Arch. Go give the kids these salvage and made easy books. I'm just gonna have a stack shells Let's lined with the stack. same fucking book over and over and over again. It's gonna be a salvager school. Teach all the kids how to do it. You know, it makes sense. There we go. I think I should do it. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, Kurt, come on, mate. What do you need? You need ore. Let's need ore. Doesn't matter what type of plant. Have you got any? I mean, I got fucking loads, mate. I've got ore like you wouldn't believe. Proper horse hole, I am. Hey, hey. Got it. That should be enough from what Mason said. Thanks. There you go. All right. Hi Mason, you gathered all the stuff, fantastic. Let's get straight to work. Yeah, um, hmm? Well, actually, it can't start working right that way, just like that. Why don't you go out the mayor with something else while I get everything sorted here? Got it. You're the mayor of Fonset? I think we need to hear the details. Myth is sort of stuck on it, or anything. So it looks like the building repairs should go just fine. Excellent, on to the next phase. We need to gather great teachers from across Alvest. Language, form from basic literacy through to detailed literary analysis and composition. The children must be raised to enjoy rich communication with others. Sciences, from the workings of everyday objects to the calculations used in business. Our children should master all kinds of knowledge to widen their horizons. History, none of us will be here today without it for the efforts of our ancestors. For learning the triumphs and failures of the past, our children will gain the wisdom to forge a bright future. Mayor, 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 this tricky, tricky situation. I'm sorry to foist this all on you, but I'd like you to use your judgement to find the most suitable candidates. You travelled many more places and met many more people than me. If anyone can find us teachers, it's you. I'll give it our best shot. Language teacher. Science teacher. A history teacher. If they consider maths to be a science, then that's fine. Right. Next quest I want to do is I want to go to find the kids. Bright spark. Oh, 
Your corsette must have been a DLC blade then. That's interesting. I don't know what for. But she's there. What's the Skyfist Remington walked around here? Where's his gravestone, I wonder? I never forget him. He's there on the left. First guy that gave me some challenge. There's a man lying there. Is that the father? Yeah, I think it must be Raymond. Is friend okay? Oh, aye, thanks. I think I'll pull through. Raymond, do you know where the uh, Nastion and the others have got to? Architect, you're right. We have to save the kids. You sit back and let us take charge. Yeah, we'll get them back for you. Zuganator's honour. Thank you. Nastion and Arena got taken captive by some Ignis. Ignis? First time I've heard of any Ignis around these parts. Ah, they're not native to him. Must have come from some other Titan. It would seem best to drive them out before it's too late. Do you know where the Zignolo lives took them? I do. They're headed towards the Isle of Urchin. Got it, let's go. Come on, guys, up to it. We've got to move now. The Isle of Urchin. It's easier if I go from here and then slide down. I think. Master Pond. Well, actually, it's probably not because I have to jump over this shit. Oh well, you live and learn. We'll go around. I'm glad that there isn't a percentage meter in the game that I can just see the percentage because it would drive me insane unless it was 100, and that would mean I'd be here for the next 5,000 years. I'm going to just do all the quests I can think of doing, as and when I need to do them. Everything else is secondary. All the blades I'd like, and then all the quests that go along with those blades, and then that's it. Even if I don't do every single side quest in the game, I'm pretty sure I can't do all of them anyway. So, if I can do almost all of them, get all the rare blades, that's all done, max out all their affinities, then that should seem like a fair ending point for me. And that would take many hours, so it's fine. Hello. Level 66. Psh. Heads up, Ignis at 12 o'clock. Looks like Nesh and others are also with, are with them also. They don't look like any tribe I've ever seen. Could they have banded together to organise their actions? Probably also see Blade Silhouette. They've got blades now. An igno with potential such as a core crystal or blade will be awakened. It's not unheard of. What it is, though, is a bloody nuisance. Nashin is in major danger. We really have to do something. Let those children go, you jack faces. Cassette, wait. Hmm? That Inga is surprisingly good at giving direction. Tone was firm yet commanding. We should be giving them a beating, not an ego boost. Come on, let's back Cassette up. Sorry guys, looks like I spooked them. Don't worry about that now, Cassette. It's time to kick some lizard tail. Indeed, there'll be enough time for introspection later. Okay, bring it on. You guys, you don't stand a chance. I know I'm like 30 low levels higher than them, but even still, the damage is just yum. Bye bye. Let's go. I really am so, so sorry. I just couldn't get stunned the thought the children getting hurt, so I sort of rushed in. Well, while I do think that your kindness and passion are some of your best qualities, Crosset, it was, uh... What Rex is trying to say is you've got to think of the consequences. We had a chance to save the kids and we blew it. I know, I know. I'll reflect on my behaviour. Ah, don't beat yourself up. We'll get them next time for sure. We have to find them first. Damn straight.
They look like they were headed for the Lud Cloudway. They long gone now, though. We have to conduct a thorough search. Right, and we better get started now. Oh, uh, I mean slow and steady. Yep, slow and steady. Breathe, Cosette, breathe. This will end in tears, won't it? I hope not. Straight up to the Lud Cloudway. Ah, Blade, level 3. Cosmos is getting powered up without me having to do anything. I don't know what I did. But there she is, getting stronger. Skibbity beep 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 boo. Ba ba da boo, ba ba da dee. Do 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 do. Ba 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 ba. I've returned. Please read the tales of my exploits for yourself. Nicely done. No need to thank me. There you go. These tomes seem to hold some very interesting information if only at the final piece of the puzzle. Yeah. It's strange. Knowledge is a gift. Obtain Tonema for on one and complete the appropriate map mission to decipher it. This should if only I had the pieces of the puzzle. I don't get it. Do I really want to do another massively long quest? Not particularly. I want to keep just doing Lux lessons to get Ursula's rank all the way up. Everyone's counting on me. Earth and animal. I gotta step it up. So I need a couple animal Earths. Okay. Understood. Because it makes it faster. Okay. If I can't Understood. get an animal Earth, I just get an animal at all. It looks like I only have one animal Earth in the entire game. Now I need two Earth people of any, uh, you know, description. I gets busy. She's out on mission. So normal Earth loot, lords. I oh, also loots. Different thing. Earth loots. Go here. Off you go. Thanks for playing. All right. S one with prune. Nice. I mean, it's all relative now, because I'm not really going to be fighting much more in the game. Not anything that's going to give me any real trouble. There. there they are. Found you at last. Crozet, let's try not to mess this up again, all right? Fine, I get it. No running in alone this time, promise. We'll see about that. Three dog's bodies, one boss man, and a blade. Looks like they've beefed up the security. They've got this place locked down. All right. What approach would you suggest then? Well, for one thing, they've nowhere to run. Let's hit them first and hit them hard. I like that plan. Well, no surprises there. Hey, I thought it over carefully. I cannot recommend that course. Why's that? We're in the open. No matter our speed, it's pointless. The instant they catch sight of us, they can move on the children. I bet they would. The louts. Hmm. Are we sure about that? They see them as nothing but food. Whether they're alive or dead, it makes no difference. So what do we do? Could we lure them away somehow? Their leader knew to post sentries at strategic locations. They seem too disciplined to fall for it. Agreed. Mithra, could you take that one? Well, I've run the ballistics, but... No. He's too close to the children. Oh, right. I've had it. If you think you can eat me, you're dead wrong. <laughs> Same old. I guess we're all going then.
Nah, don't worry too much. And look, you did manage to give us a way in. Yes. It was a most clever distraction. <laughs> and anyway, it's not like I wouldn't have done the exact same thing, you know? Oh, my hero! There's no time to waste. Let's get these children back home. Yeah! Come here, bitch. One kid has been, like, definitely okay. killed, though, bludgeoned to death by one hit. There's no way he's alive. But it's alright, you know. Two out of three ain't bad. So take what we can get. I'm not even sure that they can hit me. Thank you. Rex, thanks Rex, and thanks Rex girl friend, blade friends. You're welcome. I'm glad everyone's alright. Yep. For a second thought, I thought we were going to be ignorant lunch. But then I saw this lady rushing to save us on the Isle of Urch and I realised we had to keep fighting. Ah, oh, that's so nice. So something good even came of the, the, the part we thought was an unmitigated disaster, eh? Indeed, it gave the lad the hope he needed. Alright, let's get moving now. We have to get the kids home. You're right, onwards to Fonset. Yes, sir. That was me drinking a drink. That wasn't decent, I swear. I promise. Right, let's go back to Fonset Village. Job's done. Saved him. Kids have been saved. Happy days. Na -na. Off we go. Where to, Master Pond? Huh. Alright, mate. Oh, my sweet babies. I'm so happy to see you. Hi, Mum. Mummy. Oh, don't ever scare me like that again, alright? My family's back together, all thanks to you. I don't know how I'd ever repay you. How would you like to stay for dinner? We'd be a bit thrown together, but we'd be the guests of honour. Well, if you insist, I don't think we can turn down a hot meal. Still, we're so hungry, could eat a meal of any temperature between freezing and scalding and not say word. Here, let me give you a hand. I'll help out too. You did great out there today, Cosette. No, no, you know that's not true. I lost my head and charged him without thinking, and it was making more trouble for everyone. We all make mistakes, though. I don't think we could have done it without you, Cosette. Especially that last part, if you hadn't stepped him, we'd all been in real hot water. That's right. So thanks to your fierce and caring heart. Oh, Pyro, my hero. Does that mean I'm more like you now? Um, yes, well, maybe by a degree or two. Oh, what, that's it? Can't believe my hero would tease me like that. Haha. <laughs> Next time I'll try even harder, so you'll have to acknowledge me as an equal. Right, Spark. Complete. Thanks to Crossette's efforts, everyone got home safe. She swore to carry on trying to make Pyro proud of her. Well, that AXP I just don't need. Alas. Pyro will have to notice me now. So I've just got to fight now with Crossette and do all the Crossette things. Should be fine. It's going to take a while. Um, in the meantime, let us do... Rock. Bring Rock Pleased back along. I might as well have three characters all, all the time. And then Mysterious Mercenaries. Now I can go to Gormoth, because apparently we're chasing a fugitive. Don't know where he is yet, though, so we've got to warp over here and find out. <sighs> okay. Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. Off we go. Boo doo boo doo boo. Boom boo 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 Oi, you! Come here! You little fucking shit! He's on the rooftop. Alright. I just gotta get on the rooftop then, that's easy. Just jump on the market stall and get up. I'm sure they don't mind me just jumping on these boxes. Kukunka, kukunka, kudunka dunka. 
think he'll be on this height. It says he's even higher than this, but I don't know how you'd get much higher than this. Or you. Could you hand over the jeweled signet you stole? No, I don't think so. I need this ring to secure Phosphorus' future for Gormot. If you're going to stand him away, I won't hold back. Ah, whatever. No! We lost the upper hand! Double spinning magic! You're, you're not even going to be close. I wish it was a challenge, but it ain't. Lots of evasion. Come on. She get the orbs of light. Yes, she does. Okay, that's not bad. Bye, Gareth. Oh, you don't even understand what you're doing. You're in the wrong here, do you? Restoring the glory of Envia is the only way to create a bright future for the people of Gorma. The glory of Envia. That's right, the noble house of Envia, proud line and justly cut short. Those who bear the blood of Hannes, Lord of Envia, the rightful heirs to the throne of Uriah. Envia, you at hands, you speak of the War of Succession. The War of Succession, I feel like I've heard of that. There is a struggle between the noble houses of Uriah which occurred during the nation's inception. There are only six noble houses currently hold political power in Uriah. There was once a full nine noble lines vying for the throne. The House of Envia was foremost among them and a powerful rival to the House of Celosia. But Hans, leader of the House of Envia, is not blessed with an heir who could carry on his legacy. There were claims in that he had a secret child somewhere in Gormov, but they ultimately amounted to nothing. Thus the House of Celosia claimed the throne and the present kingdom of Uriah took shape. You know your stuff, I'll give you that. Excuse me. But the heir of Hans did exist, and his bloodline lives on in Gormov to this very day. I see. So you wish to entrust the George Signet to this supposed heir and begin the war of succession anew. What? We can't let that happen. Regardless of your mot motivations, I'm afraid we will be taking that signet. I don't have it here, and I'm not telling you where it is. What? If Moradain learns of this potential conflict, Uriah will fall into disarray. The effects of this unrest will doubtless extend to Gromart and to this city. What is the Ardanian military installation? That's not true. You promised there wouldn't be any adverse... Go on. It's a guy from the Titan battleship, the one stationed at the Torogoth base. I don't know his name. He said if we brought him the signet, the heir of hands would become king and unite Uriah and Gormot as one. A fanciful notion. Even if they have been truly uncovered an heir, I doubt they could so much as prove his legitimacy. Ugh, damn it all. We must take the signet back before it reaches the Empire. Yeah, let's go. It's all a ruse. It's all a ruse to get you to fuck up. I've got news. But you, will you hear it? You foolish Foolish boys. You done fucked it. I'll protect you fucked you it real good. I'll protect you all. I'll protect you all. Defense. We doggies. I can assist the team. Now, I wanna switch from Rock to my boy. There he is, Finch. A fine choice, good sir. Because Finch has a mission to go to the Titan battleship and view a heart to heart, so I might as well do that while I'm while I'm there. You know, uh, let's go. I'm just walk over here. The armor is not quite done yet. We'll feed him. When I get some more limitless roses, shouldn't be too hard. Let us proceed with much glory. Remember when we were here the first time? Seems like so long ago. How might I help you? So here's the thing. A jeweled signet, nothing of that sort around here, I assure you. Now, if you'll excuse me, we're quite busy here with preparations to depart. I'd ask you to kindly leave. 
I'm afraid that's not going to be possible. I'm not asking for permission. This isn't a request. I'm quite afraid it's demand. I will be taking that signet now. Now there's a yeah, there's a heart to heart over here. That's what I'm gonna go first. Get out uh, the, get that out of the way. It's also this super strength thing that I can break. <laughs> Goodbye. Bosh. No, don't go down the ladder again, Rex, you ding dong. Special treasure. I mean, the treasure is pretty bad, but I could have done this as soon as I'd gotten Wolfric, basically. It's locked from the other side. How do I unlock it? Would work probably with a key. What? I need to find a key. There's no talk of this. All right. Fuck you. We can go into the, the quest location. I'll be back for you, Finch. Don't worry. Freaking key. What is this nonsense? I'm not interested in your bullshit. Hasek. Hello, mate. What are a gaggle of civilians doing aboard this vessel? The tour explain. A consignment from a Gormati mercenary? Yes, I've called Captain Saffron receiving a package of that nation. Important delivery to the homeland, he called it. Yes, I have to hear. But I'm afraid he didn't specify as to the exact contents. But even if I knew, what good would it do when you will not be leaving this room alive? Hmm. Thank God. Okay, I'll take bring it on. on. Be here! Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that this is your finest idea, to be honest. I think you're an idiot. It's gonna use some higher moves. Do it again. That's small moves for me. There we go. Bye bye. Whoever could be causing this commotion about my proud vessel? Hmm? To the glory of Mordena, I'm afraid I must ask you to die. Die? No, no! Let's show Young the thing that we're great. Here we go. We've got heals for days. Oh, top all first is what I've already got. That's cool. Damn it, you. Waiting for my level 2 moves to come back, you see. This is the problem with having, like, uh, no skills in the move at all. Makes it quite hard. 
Пошло, 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 пошло. Just trying to use Crossette's moves while I've got a minute. You're dead. There we go, use some more heat. Yeah, I've just got lots of healing. I should probably keep a medic with me at all times on every character, but I just don't. It's not even laziness, I'm just more interested in doing lots of damage. There we go. I don't know where you're getting your information from, but your actions here are in direct opposition to the interest of Moradain. About this incident's mastermind. We've already informed our lord that you people were snooping around. I'm sure you'll already have escaped somewhere you'll never find him. He was the one who came up with the idea to take advantage of the wild rumours of an envy you know. This is the key to the room where the jeweled signet is hidden. Do with it as you wish. Are you alright? I am the captain of this vessel. I value the safety of my ship and its crew of us curing an item for a client who had already gone into hiding. If we resist you any further, I doubt the ship would stay unharmed for long. So they just see us as terrorists? Or something? I don't know why. Treasure acquired. The jeweled signet. Encephalon. Right. Let's go back to... I've... I've unfollowed the quest. Oopsie! The silly bitch. Deliver the jeweled signet to Rakura in the Rakura Act Gardens of Naraya. Will do. Stomach. Between midnight and five in the morning. This is the only time she'll be there. Let's rest the spell. That's why it's saying Let's get going. there's nothing here for you. Because it's not early enough in the day. Hello. Here you go. Thank you all. Your work was as impeccable as your reputation suggests. I conducted some investigations of my own behind the scenes. It seems this was all a plot by an elite figure within more Danes to take advantage of the succession conflict. Hmm, this is awkward. What should we do? Worry not. Your mercenary comrades were able to apprehend the main culprit as he escaped from the Empire. Meh meh. And with the jeweled signet recovered, it seems this entire incident has been neatly resolved. Vex, somebody worked hard on this. I'm so I'm due a reward of some kind. Huh? Um, let me think about it. I'll send your compensation through the Garpunk mercenaries, as is the custom. Thanks. I'm truly ungrateful for your efforts. Without your help, who knows what may have happened. I look forward to hearing of your future exploits in the future. Or further exploits in the future. Report back to you at Mercenary HQ. Okay. Mission complete, boss. We did it, boss. Hiya. Poppy and friends returned from a long journey. Yeah, and I'm knackered. Welcome back. Sorry I couldn't tell you anything about the client advance. No worries. While you were out looking for the goods, we got a request here to catch the thief responsible. I always thought queens didn't do much but lays about on their thrones. I guess I was dead wrong. That lady's a proper leader. Well, pretty impressive. Anyway, can you come with me for a moment? Is something wrong? I'll be waiting for you in front of old Bandon's grave. Can you bring Rock with you too? Of course I can bring Rock. Rock. Pleased, Pleased to, to meet you. Um, it's my favourite. You can even walk straight over there. <laughs> Lovely. The warp power is so strong. Where to, Master Bond? Let's go defeat the ninety couple, couple level ninety six sure lads. No problem. Three. Come on then, Rex. Yeah, I'll new take enemy you in the mix. I fought these guys before. Rolling smash. 
It is a little bit of a problem. As you can see, all we really need to happen is that you get uh, not comboed by everyone on Vex. And then when we do that, we can kill everyone with this. So they will try to heal each other and everything. But as soon as they get, as soon as I kill one or two of them, life gets a lot easier. There we go. They can try and kill me. It ain't gonna happen. I go for a... I do so much uh, combo damage that it doesn't matter if you kill me. Just gonna try and get Cassette up while I'm here. Might as well, eh? There's only one driver left. Not really. Not really checking in my boots. Just turns out. I do need to level up my moves though so I get more uh, everything. Bye. Hold random. Glad you could make it. I just wanted to take a moment to report into old random together with you guys. Boss. They never probably appreciated how much you did for us until you weren't around anymore. Organising all our missions, managing the rations, balancing the manpower, there's no end to it, really. At first, we weren't sure how to get on without you, but by working together, I think we managed to pull through. Random. I'm afraid I still don't remember the days I fi spent fighting by your side. But watching Vex, his friends, and the people of this village, it's easy to see how great a man you must have been. I don't know if I can really carry on your legacy, but I swear I'll keep these people safe. You can count on that. Old man, the mercenary bandy stud isn't going away anytime soon. We'll just keep it going just as strong. No, we'll build it up until it's ten times stronger than the day you left it. So don't you worry about us. Rest your old bones in peace, you hear? This kid Rex you brought in is one hell of a leader. So we're good. Two of my friends handle it. Right, I think this, this should be enough to satisfy the old man. Thanks for joining us for this. It meant a lot to me. Keep up the good work, boss. Yes, yes. Okay. Marvellous mercenaries. You did what the client asked. You and the others vowed on Madden's grave to become better mercenaries. Mission complete. This I see, indeed. Use crushing twister. Defeat a Bagoan sovereign. Defeat an indolent star. And acquire insect items. Okay, I can do all them. Shouldn't be too bad. Finish an enemy engaged in combat alongside. Use specials. Okay. Okay. Cool. Bring it on. I could do this alone. Well, No, we're good. As soon as one of them died, it's basically free. There you go. 
here, get it up. You're fine. I fucked up real bad. It's alright. We just want to keep these guys alive for long enough to actually do some uh, spells. So. Just using moves. Don't even have to be divided. Just use them. Why not? Come on. Alright. You're dead. See you, kiddo. Hit him with the heat. Watch out. Just give me the head sash. Why not? Fight some of this. Ha! This is your liking. Seven parts. Sure. This guy's gonna die. I mean, it'd be useful if I still need the XP. I don't. But if I did, it'd be pretty good. You got some new merc missions everywhere. No, it's actually a rare, a, a, like a unique up there. I never bothered Everyone fighting it. I hope you will be the bearer of good news. Okay. Well done, Shulk. I sent you on old, old school missions, but now I can send you on new missions. This is the Monado's power. This is the Monado's power. Absolute unit. I'll show you how to. Right. Defense. That's all good. Next. Wine delivery. Life saving. Yeah, I'm done. There's no there's nothing else to do. All I really want to do is this stuff. Shulk. You don't experience this every day. I'll lend you my strength. I withdraw reluctantly. reluctantly. You need my help? I will strive to do the utmost best, whatever my role. Oh, I'm not going to have enough people to do this with. I need a bit baller who's also 35 strength. Mercenaries have a sort of bad rep, don't they? And then another bit baller who also has high strength. Corsette has high strength. Let's see if I can light a fire on his And butt. it may count towards some of her missions anyway. I withdraw reluctantly. Shulk, off you go. Right, next. Beneath the Cloud Sea. I need two level 35 strength plus guys. I like traveling. Send me wherever you You're want. sending me off? And for I will this? strive to do the utmost best. You... Whatever my Fortitude, role. production mastery, info collector. Let you down. Okay, should be fine. Production mastery in abundance up yes, here at the guys. top of the screen, and I don't know what it is. Means no more. Wolfric, powerful. Burp, burp, burp. I mean, I could send Ursula, but she's going to be gone for a while. You know what? Fuck it, Corvin, you can go. The max level as army can send the squad. That's going to be another two hours for everything. Right. So, what did Vex need with Vok? Let's see. Uh, they're all on mission. I guess I could use Finch again. A fine choice, good, good sir. sir. Anything else I can do for you? Head to Subterranean Lake Galantia and Spirit Crucible Alpis. Okay. And then Rock, you need to use Christian Twister ten times, defeat Indolent Stars, and collect insect items from the list. Okay. Also need to do some quests. So I think we can finish this now. Go to the dig site. No, his army's not here, so I can't do it yet. She's out. Otherwise engaged. 
Let's go to the language teacher in Gormot Province. Find a reading and writing teacher somewhere in Gormot Province. I know I just said reading and writing. I meant reading. Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. I understand the language. I can speak it fine. But when I have to read things, I, I really don't like uh, reading things out loud particularly. It's, again, it's not that I can't do it. It's just I prefer not to. I go too quick, and so I get tripped over my own tongue. Because my brain's going faster than my mouth can Let keep up. The day with a renewed vigor. It happens sometimes. I think he's on this uh, beam over the other side. Hello. Lidello. Alright, mate. Tender grass of green, crisp your texture underfoot, neath the whispering wind. Oh, fair Gormot, many are thy charms, sunlight like a mother's sweet caress, branches stronger than a father's arms. Something wrong? Oh, my apologies, I was merely expressing my love for the natural beauty of Gormot through poetry. I only wish only that the children in the city would read beautiful verses about their homeland also. But alas, it seems they're more concerned with enjoying the present moment than pursuing the literary arts. So the thing is, a teaching post in Fonset Village for me. Oh, fa Fabius J. Fabius? Fabius? Day. The voices of the titans call out to me. I drift upon the currents of the clouds. Ah, but there's just one problem. The shackles of my personal debt bind me in place and I cannot leave. Not unless I collect 7,500 G.O. Oh, what am I to do? Yeah, I'll pay it. Oh, like a star of hope from Elysium, a not so modest sum of money appears before me. Now I can settle my debts here and travel to Fonset Village to start anew. I'll get my things together and head there right away. Do I get it? Mission complete. Now I've got to go get another uh, teacher. Science teacher. Mathematics and science. Good. Mathematics is very important. Never forget it. Ever. Ah, I've got some orange aid. It tastes like garbage. But it was cheap. So it's fine. It tastes like orange squash, but fizzy. Um, I don't really like orange squash. It doesn't taste like oranges. It's like fake orange. All right, mate. Welcome to the Smyre Clinic. Oh, it's you lot again. Yes, yes. I'm afraid Dr. Smyre isn't in the clinic right now again. Was there something urgent you wanted her for? So the thing is, you want to recruit Dr. Smyre to teach in a school. Well, I just suppose you would definitely have to discuss that with her in person. I'd like to hire her. This time she's on a trip to Fonset Village in Etheria. Apparently she has some kind of medicinal plant she's looking for in a place called Spirit Crucible Alpis. Don't know where that place is, so you all you'd have to have a look. After that, well, if you're lucky, she might fulfill your request. The Canyon of Husks. I don't see such a place. In which case, I'll warp to somewhere and then see from there where it wants me to go. That was a slow. Thousand and fifty. Let us go. Upwards. Is that it? Is this it? Yeah. Okay. I get it. I get the picture. I'm gonna go from Bow Mode and go upwards. And where you? Let us go. I think it's faster. Seems reasonable. I never noticed these birds before. They probably left me alone. Alright, Smyre, how are you? Roots, roots, precious roots search. Hey, fancy seeing you here. Do you want something? So the thing is, a teacher, me. Fonset Village here? It's quite an interesting place, Etheria. Really? 
fasten between the islands look quite like roots. Oh, I don't teach the kids once I finish my work. Bring me a rare root from Spirit Crucible, I'll piss, then I'll help. If Tor want to help her, should be easy for Tor and friends. Find me a color carrot from a remote area of Elpis. Village just told me not to go alone, said so there are monsters. You'll have to be fine, though. Good luck. Alright. Not that far down. In the glowy zone. Shield your eyes. Off we go. Where to? Ah, this is the collar carrot I was looking for. Fantastic news. Reaching new heights. Did it. I did it. Wahoo. Okay. Let's go back again. To the old bone road. There's too many games coming out that I want to play. That's the problem. Let us go. There's the remake of, uh, or the remaster of uh, Crystal Chronicles that I want to play. Then there's uh, Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon Everybody, which I already played the Wii version of, but that was really good too. Then there's Monster Hunter World uh, DLC I want to play. Then there's uh, Fire Emblem that comes out, and I want to play that too. I've got too many things to play. I call a carrot. Good job. I'll teach the kids. Let me go back to my lab. I've got to make preparations and I head to the village. Bye now. Nice. Now, final thing. Quest log. History teacher. History teacher in the Argentum Trade Guild. Alright. That was a slog. Let us go. Literally right above us. I also want to see what I need to make love sauce, because I need to make lots of that. There's an offshoot of a platform that I need to be on, and I don't know where. Here it is. Tortor. Hey. Oh, his friends. Toto doing fine, making me such a very best of cheer. Toto examined me savage item, put in order of age to try to work out what originally used for. Spent so much time thinking about exciting history of mystery items, Toto forget to sleep sometimes. Wow, pretty impressive. Toto has savage items in many countries in the life of Toto. We would like to meet people to discuss exciting history thoughts with. So here's the thing. Teaching in Fonset Village, Toto will teach little upon. Toto know lots about histories, though not much about anything that not histories. No worries. Oh, but wait, there's something Toto need to get before becoming teacher. An ancient savaging suit. Not sure where to find, but Torto want it bad. If friends find, Torto become teacher. Alright. Friends help Torto with the quest. So happy, happy. Remember, an ancient savaging suit. Torto just need one. That all. Not sure where to find, though. Savage the ancient savaging suit. Well, this looks like a job for the old cheats. Ancient savaging suit. Okay. I know exactly where to go. Let's go there. Press the wrong button. I always press the one I want to go to warp instead of press the wrong button. It's at the seventh point of the skyport of the world tree. That salvaging point over there. We'll see if it if it wants the that one right at the end. Let us go. Yes, it wants the one right at the end. Although that's probably a new quest as well, but I, I want to go and salvage completely at the end of the salvaging skyport. There's no shortcut over there, so I've got to walk it. Defeating Enderline Stars should be easy. They're the ones that drop off the uh, Sentinels. They're the big lads. Remember when 62 seemed like a massive level? I've got a bigger lore range now, so I might be able to lure them. If he flies rightwards. And hit. 
There we go. Come here, you. Why? You want to fall to the surface before he actually gets up. Maybe we'll get out of this alive after all. I'm fighting it hard. Don't give up on me. He'll come back. He's coming. I thought you got rid of me that easily, huh? Not so. Tends to only work when you've got um, a death plane low enough down. Uh, she's still not dead. There's a blade bot behind me. Oh, the blade bot's fighting me. Okay, I might as well fight you then. Follow up the Indolin star to come back. Bosh. Anyway, back to salvaging. Yeah, he just drops it off and then buggers off. Just so. Come here. I'm going all in. I was never the ocean smash. Double well spinning edge. This is where we prove off. Go for it. I'm just going to kill both of them. I might as well do it. Box right here. Kill him. Goodbye. That one's a little bit too far away. Don't think he counts. At least I can't target him anyway. Doesn't seem to be a trigger to make them come down. Hello. Something matter, Zeke. Took a look over there. Something's clearly not right. Those are artificial blades. So many too. Why are they all gathered here? I can identify no regular pattern to their movements. Most likely their command systems are no longer functional. They don't have any orders, but they're just gathering here on their own. Is that even possible? Is this some kind of berserk state? Perhaps not quite so simple, but that understanding will suffice. Initializing simulation. A search of the area indicates that a total of 67 artificial blades are active nearby. If we leave the situation unaddressed, it's highly likely that more artificial blades shall emerge. Considering all available options, the most prudent course of action would be to eliminate them all right now. You want us to fight these things? All of them? Are you crazy? Cosmos is right, though. There's no telling what might happen if we just leave them like this. We should scrap them before they cause any harm. Hey, Cosmos, do you think we can actually beat all these things? It is possible. With the number of enemies, the probability of our complete defeat is under 12%. Hold on, that doesn't sound like a sure thing. It is difficult to predict what may happen during combat. This probability seems within the bounds of acceptable risk for combat-related activity. You're scarily calm about this stuff, you know that. The more blades enter a berserk state, the higher risks will become. Please give the order to commence combat as soon as possible. All right, here, here, let's do this then. Here goes nothing. Artificial intelligence. If they seek a fight, they shall get one. Rolling smash! Double spinning edge! Double spinning edge! Rolling smash! Double spinning edge! So is she also a DLC blade? I don't know. It seems like we're hearing a, a battle theme we've never heard before. Why not? Weakness identified. 
At least one I haven't heard often. Punk. I did it. Confirming increase of enemy activity. Awaiting permission to continue combat. No, it's no good. We'll never get through them all. Cosmos, it seems best to withdraw and regroup for now. If we withdraw now, we risk major damage to multiple locations. Total annihilation of hostile units would be optimum at present. Girl, there are too many of them. That's pretty clear. Yeah, mess up, and we're the ones who are going to get annihilated. There should be no problem. All allies, please move away from me for a moment. Scanning for enemy targets. Locked on to all hostile unit signatures in World Tree vicinity. Releasing safety lock. Cosmos? Face switch ordinance activated. Confirming 75% reduction of enemy capability. Initiating neutralization of remaining enemy capability. Rex, is something wrong? Uh, no. Go ahead. Initiate, um, neutralization. Confirmed. Alright, no problem. Okay, bring it on. Yeah, rolling Again, okay, this reminds me of the Xenoblade X thing, but I don't know because I never played it. When Wii U emulation becomes better, you better believe. I'll be on it. The only reason I ever knew Xenoblade existed is because of dolphins, so... It was like 90 quid, no one was going to buy it here. Oh, yes! 92% of enemy forces neutralized, remaining enemy forces incapable of proceeding with combat. Any risk of reinforcements. The search of the area reveals no signs of new units emerging. Incredible, we really take out all those enemies. You say we, mostly it was down to that crazy power of Cosmos's. It was really was crazy powerful, I've never seen anything like it. I merely selected the optimal course of action after analyzing all alternatives. Was my solution excessive? No, no you did fine. Yeah, if it weren't for you, we'd never have been... Oh, Jesus Christ. I've got to stop twisting my, my words. Yeah, if it weren't for you, we'd never have beaten that lot. Thank you very much. For that attack you used, though, you wouldn't be surprised if it was detected in neighbouring countries. Yeah, I reckon that light would have been visible from Tantal or Moradain at least. Um, so if we accidentally caused a bit of an international commotion, international leaders may need to be warned about these artificial blades as well. Perhaps our next course of action should be to report in the King Eulogimenos. Yeah, we better explain ourselves and clear up any misunderstandings. My old man can get pretty nasty. Let's head to Thea Scaldia Palace and set his mind at ease. Hi again. All friends return safely. Hello. Gotta get an ancient salvaging suit. Check this out. Don't mind me. Shouldn't be too long. Huh. Huh. Woohoo! Right. Let's see what we get. Some kind of evil. Okay, bring it on. It's a big aspin. Alright. 
That spins tend to be quite powerful, but not um, high HP. Why not? Excellent puppy. You are every inch the real blade. If so, treasure acquired. All thanks to Mastodon. You're all mine. Where is my super soup? I'll go again. Rex, check this out. Shouldn't be too long. Might be a bit longer than this. Yup. Huh. Right. But it shouldn't be too long. Hello. What a beauty you are. If I can get away with not getting lots of uh, treasure acquired enemies drawn. That'll do. Come on. Rex, check this out. Shouldn't be too long. Yo. Huh. All right. Oh man. Did I come up with a load of guff again? Oh, is it a load of guff because the thing I summoned was bad? Okay, bring oh, it's it just on. a Marin. Ha! Great well Maybe we're not. Stop up. Stop up. Stop. 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 This is where we prove ourselves. We finally Go got something it. right. The enemy's element is now. Good to have you I launched it? How did I manage to do that? Treasure acquired. You're all mine. There we go, I got it. Okay, so let's go to the audience hall in Tantal. Speak to the Lord. His his lordship. The king. Majesty. Eulogy Menos. Hello. Well, this isn't good. Something wrong. Small platoon headed up for the Nord Mountains for marching practice, but they took a wrong turn and ended up in wolf, hunt or wolf hunting grounds. Looks like they took a bit of battering. We're in the middle of assembling a rescue squad, but we're a little understaffed right now. Well, someone's got to take care of this. We'll see what we can organise. Hmm. Generous some of your mercs. Yes, yes. Sorry to have dragged you into this. We won't forget your help. Everything turns Hello. Out great. Everything turns out great. Fucking loving it. Protect you. Okay. Got it. I'll keep trying and We're all getting stronger, just slowly. Mostly slowly. Right, so I'm going to every place in it until there's no more pink missions to do. Because the pink missions are what gives me the the secret. Feel it? Off you go. Everyone's counting on me. Oh, you don't need to go. I gotta step in. <laughs> I'll do it. Focus. Wolfric has to go. No, no choice. Yes. Of course. What's the plan, boss? Okay, understood. Patissier? I ain't got any patissiers. Are you kidding me? Don't worry, I'm great at support. Off you go. Right. That's all done. So then, more Dane, all the purple missions are done after that. Then Letheria, we got a few. Two of them. And then Tantal, we got two of them. And that's it. Okay. And then I can buy all the contracts. Hello, Kingly Lus. Nia hasn't got any rare blades left. They're all being used. 
So I can use my good friend Kusanagi. Okay, let's get the party started. Because he's just there. He's been with me through thick and thin. I see. Then the light that was reported coming from the world tree was an attack performed by this blade. It is quite difficult to believe such a single blade could produce such remarkable levels of energy. You got that right. I saw it myself, but I still had trouble believing it. But it's the truth. But not for Cosmos' attack. We would have all been defeated by those rogue artificial blades. Hmm, well, as long as you have that power safely under control, I suppose it is not a problem. Thank you for your explanation. Regarding the artificial blades, they are indeed a worrying development. They are capable of flight, yes. It seems difficult to guarantee that they will remain on the world tree. There is a very real possibility that bizarre artificial blades can end up descending upon nearby nations. True enough. I'll make use of the Tantal military and strength and surveillance around the world tree. We are most grateful for your wise decision, Your Majesty. However, I feel we need the cooperation of the other nations in this matter. What do you say, Lady Morag? Will you lend me your aid in this? But of course. I will report this incident to Moradain and advise His Majesty the Emperor to take suitable preventive action. You have my thanks, Lady Morag. I'll leave the Emperor to you, then. Ah, yes. One more thing. There's a request I'd like to make of you all. A request? What's all this about, then? Enter, please. Who's that? Someone you know, Shalad? Hmm, can't say I recognize her. It's a pleasure to meet you, Uncle. My name is Estelle. I hope we will get along. Uh, Uncle, what's going on here, Pops? This young lady is the daughter of your cousin. It is perhaps no surprise you are not aware of her existence. She was born after you left the country, after all. Strictly speaking, the master's first cousin's once moved. I hope you don't mind addressing me as his uncle. Uh, uh, I don't know what I really meant to do with a niece or cousin or whatever you are. Well, 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 isn't this the sweetest little family reunion, uncle? Shut up, you. Despite her youth, the style is something of a prodigy has read all the books in the Theosphal Library. I fear she may have begun to grow tired of being cooped up here in Tantal. She is quite the spirited young lady. Most recently, she expressed a desire to explore the land of Martha. Of course, I told her I could not possibly allow such a dangerous outing. But now she is instead insisting on visiting all the other nations of Alves before they sink entirely. I believe it was you who said I would do well to see the world, Your Majesty. I am simply trying to live up to your expectations. You see what I have to deal with. I don't know where she gets this willful nature from, but once she sets her mind on something, there is no changing it. As such, while I must apologise for the trouble, I might ask you to take her with you on your trip to Mordain. Take this girl with us on some international tour. We're not just travelling for the sake of it, you know. I'm quite aware of that. Thank you very much. But you needn't worry about me. I won't cause any trouble. In fact, I might be able to assist you in some way, Uncle. Uh, enough with the Uncle thing. Can I at least be like a big brother or something? Now, if you insist, let's have a lovely trip together, big bro. Hmm. Oh, shall I? I didn't know you were into that. Uh, my prince, forgive my saying so, but you're creeping me out a little. Oh, for the... Hey, what's your name? I am Cosmos. Cosmos? That's a funny sort of name. You're a blade, are you? Yes. It's a pretty unusual body you've got there. It's most like you're part machine and the shin parts and human parts connected somehow. Do you have some kind of problem with my body? Problem? No, no problem. Would you mind if I tinkered around with the bits inside? I cannot permit that. Even if my master were to order me directly, I could not comply. I thought you might say that. A shame, a shame. Oh well, I'm going to be a pleasure traveling with you, Cosmos. I look forward to it, Estelle. Shall we leave at once, then? Come on, big bro, you lead the way. Ugh! What are you making that look for, big bro? We're leaving you behind, big bro. But you will give it a rest already. Head to the throne room in Morvardane. I don't remember where the throne room is. It's around here somewhere. Hey. Artificial blades. Just what we need. Zeke, help with Estelle's safe withdrawal. No sweat. Locking on to surrounding enemies. Making ballistic calculations. Minimizing damage to urban area. Sincere apologies. 
I was unable to completely annihilate the enemies. No, that's plenty. We got the rest. Hey, don't worry. That was more than enough, thanks. It must have sent our skill. Still only level 58, shouldn't be a big problem. Bosh. Hit him with the gamma ray. They won't last two seconds. With this much power. I guess I really am the best. Doink. You really are incredible, Cosmos. Tell me, where do you get all that power from? What's the energy source? How do you replenish it? Do, can you control the output level? Doesn't it put any strain in your organic components? My apologies, Estelle. I cannot answer those questions. What? Why not? There's no reason to divulge such information to anyone other than my driver. Oh, come on. Don't be so stingy. You can just tell me a little. Sorry, but no. Not even if I say pretty please? Not even then. I see. Hey, <laughs> you really are funny one. You know that? Hey, could I have a feel of those clothes of yours and stuff? Yes, that should not be a problem. Really? Nice. I see, so that's how they're made. Hey, can I take this off? I do not have any objections to myself, but I understand that exposing the underlying frame would be considered offensive to public decency. Really? You think? Well, that's probably not an issue. But wait, that's how you can't do that. You can't just take her clothes off out here. Huh? But Cosmos said she didn't mind. No means no. Now, I think we've spent enough time dawdling out here. Let's hurry along and meet Emperor Nile. You're no fun. going. Yes, let's just undress you. No, 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 no. Even if it's just metal scaffold underneath there, she's still technically naked. One moment, please. The blade would like to wait outside. Are you referring to me? Yes, you. But Cosmos is a member of our team. That blade is far too dangerous. She cannot be allowed to have an audience with His Majesty. That seems unnecessary to me. Please stand down, uh, Emperor Nile. But if I may, Your Majesty, the blade was responsible for. No cause for concern. Now please leave her be. As you wish, Your Majesty. I apologize for all that. I feel the business you bring from King Eulogimos may have. Eulogimenos may have something to do with the recent artificial blade attack. Could you explain what you know? I see. Artificial blades going berserk. I presume that includes the artificial blades that have just attacked us right now. Yes, they appear to have lost their capacity to take orders and gone berserk, just like those ones we saw before. Right now, the Titans are more ordained, Tantal and Avaya will gather around the world tree. There's a real danger the artificial blades torn and released upon the tree could attack those nearby nations. Hmm, I think I understand the situation now. We may have been lucky enough to avoid any major damage so far, but this is not a threat we can simply ignore. We will work with Tantal and Avaya to find a solution to this problem. Thank you for your understanding. No need to thank me. Compared to the efforts you have put in, I have done precious little. The least I can do is take care of this situation while you focus on the tasks you must attend to. Yes, Your Majesty. In that case, we will take our leave. Hey, big bro. What is it? You are doing the job here now, right? I guess so. Reported where we came here to report. Take me to the land of Martha, then. Not a chance. Why not? You're free to go where you want to now, right? Like how we're going to take you to a dangerous place like that. Thought you already gave up on that day after my old man told you no anyway. Gave up is such a strong word. I asked him to let me travel all of our He said yes to that. So naturally, that means I can go to the land of Martha now, right? That's some pretty strained logic. You're pretty cunning for such a little ass. Very promising young mind. Come on, you know you want to. Take me to the land of Martha. I ain't budging. You can come up with all the silly loopholes you like. No, still means no. Oh, you're so useless, you stubborn, prodigal old man. Prodigal old... That's pretty rich coming from the likes of you. Why do you want to go to Martha so bad anyway? It's not exactly what I call a fun place to visit. 
You just don't appreciate it properly. Just a glimpse at this landscape would be an immensely valuable experience. And besides, it's a treasure trove of potential discoveries. So many things you'd never find anywhere else. Initially, I just wanted to see the place, but as it turns out, it's something I really want to find there. You don't understand what you're talking about. The place is crawling with dangerous monsters. You realise that? You're a kid yourself without even a blade. To defend yourself? Then you could be up in two seconds flat. How are you planning to search for anything in a place like that? Then send Cosmos to protect me. With her around, I'd be totally safe, wouldn't I? Where'd he go after demanding stuff like that? The king told you to protect me, didn't he? Sure, but he didn't tell us to indulge your crazy ideas. I'm going whether you like it or not. You can't stop me, uncle. Not happening. End of story. Hey, what do you think, Cosmos? You're coming with me, aren't you? I will obey whatever orders I am given. See, Cosmos says she doesn't mind. However, my first duty is to protect my master. Protecting you would necessarily be a low-priority task. Is that acceptable? Huh? There, you see? You're not Cosmos' driver, so you don't get to drag her around anywhere. Now, quit being a stubborn little brat and hurry and hope to Tantal. Yeah, you're wrong, all right? I may not be a driver, but Cosmos is my friend. Cosmos will protect me. I know she will. Give it a rest already. It's like watching two children fight. Listen, Zeke, there's no point standing around arguing. It seems pretty clear Stal isn't going to back down anytime soon. Why don't we just give her a quick look at the land of Martha and then bring her straight back? Seriously? I can't drag guys down all the way there just to indulge the wings of some stubborn little girl. It's not so much trouble. We owe Her Majesty a favour anyway. Oh, His Majesty a favour. But Estelle, if things look like even the slightest bit dangerous, we're taking you straight out of there. Got it? Sounds fine by me. Shall we get going then, Cosmos? You've latched onto this robot woman. And you decided you want to be friends, but she, she's a robot. She just goes with what you say. That's how it is. Fallen skyscraper. That was a slog. Let us go. But it looks like her programming tells her not to let her anyone know the internals, not even the driver. Even if given a direct order. Which is interesting. Guess you want me to climb up here. Once more, same as before. Climb up here and then we'll find the truth. I really wish I could get faster climbing speed. As a as a buff. Double climbing speed. I know for loading purposes it probably wouldn't work, but I just like the idea. Okay. What's up? Hmm. They seem to be having fun. Yeah. Looking at them now, they almost seem like a great team. No, it's not this one either. All good, Cosmos? Oh, where is it? I was so sure I'd find it here. Estelle, are you looking for something? Huh? Oh, uh, um... If you tell me what your objective is, I can scan the surrounding area for it. This will markedly increase the likelihood of success. I'm sure that's true, but I need to keep this secret. I promise to tell you afterwards, though. Understood. Ah! There it is! Cosmos! Look! Look! Beware. Astel! Legit! Cosmos? Are you unhurt? You need to be a bit more careful, Cosmos. What if you'd have hurt yourself? It's okay. Please do not worry about me. And, more urgently, please conceal yourself behind me for a moment. I will take care of this swiftly. You'd better not get hurt, Cosmos. But you'd better not lose, either. Incompatible orders received, but orders acknowledged. Adjusting priority order of prime directives. Prioritizing orders from a staff. Don't get hurt. 
but don't lose, but don't win, but don't die, but don't live. Oh, okay. I guess I understand what you mean. But you're fucking weird. Why's the camera going all funky? I guess it's on a slope. Wrong smash is too good. It should be nerfed. Into the fucking ground. Oink. Oh, yes. Cosmos, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm quite alright. Are you in hurt, Estelle? Yeah, I'm fine. Not a scratch on me, thanks to you. That is a relief to hear. Um, Cosmos, I'm sorry. It's all my fault that you got dragged into this mess. I didn't mean for this to happen. There is no need for concern. Protecting you is what I am here for. But... So you get it now. When you act selfish, you're not just endangering yourself. People who care about you could get hurt too. Maybe you'll think twice before demanding to come to a place like this again. Yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. No need for that. You've already been through enough here. As long as you understand, that's all that matters. Oh, yeah. Did you find what you're looking for in the end? Uh-huh. Look, I have it right here. This is some kind of machine part. Yeah. Listen, Cosmos. When we get back to Tantile, there's one more thing I'd like you to do. Would you be okay with that? You're, not, you're still not done making demands? That's not it. It's just something I want to give to Cosmos. So, Cosmos, let you come to my room. I promise I won't cause any more trouble, so please... What do you think, Zeke? Well, I guess there's no harm in that. Really? Thanks, big bro. I swear, you really put your time in this actual cutesy. Are you fine with this too, Cosmos? Yes, I see no problem. Then let's head back to Tantel. My room's in the Hall of Reception. I'll see you there. Alright, let's go back to Tantel then. I'm sure this won't go wrong at all. Everything will be just fine. What can I say? That was a slog. I'm a little bit skeptical. Let us go. Do you want to my room? Well, I don't actually live here, so it's just where I'm staying here while I'm in Thea Skaldia. Isn't this some kind of storeroom? It doesn't need to be fancy. A dingy old place like this for perfect for my experiments. Dingy, she says. Now, Cosmos, you just wait here a moment while I get everything ready. As you wish, Estelle. I just need to put the final touches on. So for the wait, Cosmos, this is what I wanted to give you. It's a present. This is for me. Listen, while I was observing you, I noticed you didn't always have perfect control of your power. It can't be easy to keep powers that strong under control all the time. But if you use this device, it should be much easier to manage. You'll be able to fight without worrying about keeping yourself in check all the time. I think it'll be really useful. Estelle. Listen, Cosmos. The abilities are powerful as yours are a very dangerous thing to have. But I think you probably have more than for a reason. The world needs that kind of strength right now. King Eligimos and Emperor Nile both seem to think it's fine as long as your driver keeps you in check. Who wants to rely on a driver for everything, right? If you master the use of your own powers, you can put them in the ultimate blade. Maybe even save Alvest. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll do the right thing, and I'm your best friend, so I should know. When did we become best friends? He just keeps pointing these guys in their mission, okay, Cosmos? I have a feeling if you help Rex and Nero and Morgan and my uncle, you'll be able to save all of our lives someday. Understood. Are you sure it's alright for me to accept this for nothing, though? Well, she's apparently your best friend. Who turns down a gift from a bestie? Thank you, Estelle. I promise to make good use of it. Thanks. Can I visit any time, okay? I promise. I will visit. We are friends, after all. Best friends, you mean? Artificial intelligence. Complete. As I went to all that trouble for Cosmos' sake, she seems to have had an effect on Cosmos' outlook. Let's see how that affected Cosmos. Ooh. Medical systems upgraded. We're just all the way up to full. A place in the first low orbit station with a view of the outside. View the heart to heart daybreak. Okay. We're getting there in power. It's, it's, all, it's all coming up Millhouse. Okay, so. What else was I doing? I was doing... Inverline stars. I need to defeat two more of them. I also need to go and finish the teacher quest. By giving the teacher some lovely good shit. The ancient salvaging suit. That was a slow. S6 trust. Mm -hmm. Let us go. 
Hello. Here you go. Oh, ancient savage institute. It's so, so, so big. How anyone any savage wearing a big bulky thing like this? But there must be reason behind big size of soup. Once T Tortor, well, it's Tortor of each Funset village, Tortor investigate ancient suit history. That's pretty neat. And possibly even teach lessons if Tortor can find the time in between more important activities. Meh meh. Anyways, Tortor go back up salvaging gear and things, then head to Funset. No worries. We've done it. Now we should finish. School is in session. Absolute banger. That was a slog. Let us go. Right. We're done, pretty much. All missions are complete. Hello. Tora back. Fantastic. So where are these teachers you found? Let Tora explain. Are they all still making preparations to travel here? Oh dear, I may have been a little hasty in my assumptions. Really? Well, when I heard you arrived, I thought you must have brought the new teachers with you, you see. So I already gathered the children together so we'd have ourselves an inaugural lesson. Now I feel a little silly. I had a brainwave. Perhaps our very own Mr. Rex can give the kids a little practice lesson. He's the biggest success story this village has produced after all. Tora, get it? I'll call the kids over then. Ding dong, Mr. Rex, I've got a question. I found a piece of rock near the village guardian the other day with this weird old writing on it. Can you read this squiggly stuff? It is good to dwell on yes, the I past can. from time to time. Of course, I'm pretty good at reading ancient writing. Well, Mr. Rex, you're amazing. Do you think I could learn to read this stuff too someday? You're really hard worker, Mark, so I bet you could learn to read it if you tried. Alrighty, I'll study hard to see if I can read what's on that stone. Right, next up is Kazuna's question. Ding dong, ding dong, hey Mr. Rex. So the other day we all tried to go down to the beach, but there was a big rock washed up in the way and we couldn't get past. All three of us tried pushing it together, but it didn't move an inch. In the end, Mason and some other villagers helped us get it out of the way. But would you be able to move a big rock like that all on your own? Puppy power. Uh, I would, but not yet. It would probably be easier to break it than move it, but a rock that big might be tough. Oh, I see, I guess even you'd have to ask Mason for help, huh? Is that all you wanted to ask, Kazuna? I guess Kirk's at next up then. I have a question for Mr. Rex. Can you find all kinds of Kush treasure in the Cloud Sea really easily? Rex, no. Well, out. I could if I had enough salvaging mastery, but... Well, it probably wouldn't be that easy. I'd probably have to salvage quite a lot of times to find the really good stuff. Oh, I see. I always thought you'd just dive in and pick up amazing treasure every time. I've never seen you actually salvaging. Show me some time. I was honest. Well, I think that wraps it up for everyone's questions. I guess I'll give you a salvaging demonstration now. Hey, Mr. Rex, I've got another question. Which girl are you sweet on? What? Oh, I want to know too. Who are you going out with someone? Me too, me too. I heard Quinn worrying about whether you'd get married. Oh, are you getting married, Mr. Rex? When, when? Yeah, your wedding. Congrats, Mr. Rex. Congratulations, Mr. Rex. Oh, hold on, all of you. Getting way ahead of yourselves. Anyway, we're going to do a salvaging demonstration. Everyone come with me to mess at point. Aha. Uh -huh. Mr. Rex's face is quite red. He's still such a kid. He's innocent, that's all. Ugh. They'll have to respect me when they see my salvaging skills in action. I'll show you. Fucking kids. Disrespect me. Yeah, it's just being truthful. I can read the ancient writing, that makes sense. But I don't have 12 super strength. And I also don't have, you know, 15 salvaging mastery. I could probably get it. Also, salvaging mastery only actually helps you up to level 9, so. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to how. Alright, now I'm going to show you all how a pro salvager works. So play close attention. Did I say play close or pay close? I hope I said pay close attention. You don't have any salvaging gear yet, so we can't let you try it out for yourselves today. But watching how it's done will prepare you for when you do start salvaging for yourselves. I've never seen a real salvager at work before. Aren't the Zer selling the things heavy? Why don't you just sink? Bring us back lots of treasure, Mr. X. Sure thing, leave it to me. Gonna use the we're gonna use the premium. Rex, Is this the BBA? This Is it gonna be Shouldn't random be one that's really hard? Huh. Huh. It's just AAA. Yeah. 
This looks like it'll be something good. Oh, yeah. Ah, it's a monster. Is this the treasure? Watch out, it's going to attack. No, we lost the upper hand. Sometimes you bring up monsters, that's how it is. Don't worry, this guy won't last two seconds, kids. Bye. Well, um, that was definitely a monster, not treasure. It was scary. See, as you just saw, sometimes savages can hold up monsters instead of treasure. Everyone make sure you're fully prepared and equipped with weapons when you salvage for yourselves. Okay, Mr. Vex. Did he mess up? Yes, Mr. Vex. He totally messed up. I remember that. Mr. Vex messed up. That worked. But well, that's the end of my lesson. Next time there should be brand new teachers here to instruct you. Be sure to be nice to them. No being rude or playing tricks, okay? Alright, class was dismissed. Did I just make a proper fool of myself? Hey! Where'd my fucking treasure go? Oh well. I think I maybe m wouldn't have messed up if I got all the uh, all of the icons correct, but maybe I still would have messed up. It has to be in the in the daytime, probably. Let's go six a.m. Is there a time of day? Third carpentry workshop. Is that? It's here. I guess I'm just still at the wrong time of day. Yeah. They're on a proper daytime. Hello. Finally, even the teachers are here. The mayor's dream has come true. I hope all the kids study hard and grow up super smart people. Alright. So you're all doing the practice lesson, eh? Perfect timing. Those teachers of yours just showed up as well. Now let's see. Looks like you gathered a fine selection of teachers to stimulate the village children's minds. Thank you for all your efforts. You've done a service to the children in this whole village. No problem for Tora. Kind of been an easy task. You've earned this reward. Yay. We did it. The island's adrift, flocculent man and his ambitions yielding to the surf. They didn't have this kind of stuff in the exam. I'm really liking it. Cloud sea waves, a fluffy tumble. Thunderbolts, they crash and rumble. Auntie Corrin will nag and grumble. Forget that last part. She'll have a go at me for that one. My teacher said we could use anyone we know personally as a reference. But I don't have a mum or dad, so I guess I'll have to be Auntie Corrin then. Always feels nice to do the good. <laughs> what a beautiful kid. I love him. They're going to be so great. I know they can do it. That's the thing. They just have the power inside. <laughs> Sorry. I've uh, gone too far. In a few places. So let's see how everyone else is doing with the old... Uh, there's only a few more things I have to do. Problem is that because uh, I basically only use one type of skill, it's going to take me ages to get all the weapon arts up for all of them. But that's what the um, thingy bobs for. The weaponry for noobs and so on. In terms of affinity chart, we're all like done so there's no point in getting skill points anymore but alas it is what it is let's fight 
some in-the-line stars real quick. And also try and get trust up with our good friend Finch, which means we should probably travel to Argentum, figure out exactly what it is we're missing to make more love sources, make some more. Oh, I know exactly what it is. It's a, um, it's the crystal thing. Let's rest a spell. Let's get going. Hang on. Let me show you. Yeah, it's the uh, flutter heart grass. I can't make the flutter heart grass because I've only got one of them. You can only get one at a time. To get one, you go over here. You go to the upper level. You go to the frozen airborne throne thingy. Then you jump down to the left. Let's rest a spell. Let's get going. No, let's actually jump down to the right because we need to slide down this thingy. Okay, that's too far too. Right. Live and learn. We've got to find a place to jump down that's a little bit less far down, like here. Proceed with caution, There we go. Okay. So control the scent. Let me slip and slide like a banana peel down here. And then we go over to the uh, grass, which is just in the corner there. Da 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 heart grass one. And now it's gone. The wind is my mate. So we can only ever get one of these at a time. But if we get one, then we can make a love source. Which makes our life just better in every way, basically. Because once we've got the love source, we can increase trust by an order of magnitude. Much, much faster than buying people's unique items. Like so. So if there's another blade that I need to get trust on, I might as well do it now. While well, I've got a minute. Let's talk it to him. Let's see, is this actually trust? It is. Okay. So, Vex, you're gonna hit eat some love sauce, please. Every time I want to go get another one, by the way. I just Having this? have to go and get another grass. So you use the love source. It counts as using it. Then it unlocks some things. Yes. And then you can go forward. I just keep this increases stuffier. like trust by 3,000 every time. So it'll be very quick. Each time I use the love source. So let's do it again. To show you how quick the actual the whole thing is from start to finish. Takes about a minute. I'm going to say 60 seconds. So we'll start it from here. I'm going to count out loud. So you ready? One, Let's rest two, spell. three, Let's get going. four, five, six, oh. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh. thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, a minute, minute and one, Let's minute and two, minute and three, minute and four, minute and five, minute and six, minute and seven, minute and eight, minute and nine, minute and ten, minute and eleven, boom. So that's a minute and eleven to use it. Probably more like closer to two minutes to go through the whole thing of using it and then getting it and then using it like that. 
Also make sure when you're done, you replace it with something you don't want to auto use. Because if you don't, it's bad times. I just keep getting zapped here. Yeah, so if I used one more, I'd be just off of getting the maximum amount. Okay. So, I think we're about ready to call it quits on this particular episode. Because I've played for a couple of hours now. Pleased to meet you. And there's not a lot else I can do now besides go to place, fight the thing, do the thing. In the immediate future, I will uh, endeavour to finish I'm these guys. I can send lots of people on Merc Group missions to get them stronger. I think its strategy, I don't remember, is to send people on really short Merc missions and they still level up just as quick. So you send them on like two minute Merc missions over and over and over and over again and then they get stronger once you've once you've got the trust up to full that's the first thing you have to unlock all their abilities and then just send them on missions over and over again and it gets them done real quick but i like doing a lot of them myself too so that's what we'll do thanks for watching this first session of post game content uh i'll see you next week when we do some more until then thanks for watching everyone see you then goodbye <laughs>